Today I'd like to talk to you about the Zelda HVLS pump. A brand new pump that's unique to the market, unlike any other pump that's out there. The HVLS stands for High Volume Low Speed. This is a unique pump in that it is a self-priming pump. While there are many pumps on the market today that claim to be self-priming, the Zelda HVLS is a true self-priming pump. It primes from 26 feet at an altitude of around 1,000 feet above sea level. Not only does it do that, it can go all the way down to a quarter inch. It can pump air, grease, oil, water, hydraulics, glycols, just the gamut of just about any liquid that's in the world that we know today. And in doing so, it will pump it not only forward, but it will also pump it backwards. Therefore, there will be no more backups that you see in today's world of pumps that a clog will occur and the pump has to be shut down and taken apart. This Zelda will allow itself to back flush itself. And in doing so, create a pump that is truly a universal pump to the world. The powering source of the Zelda HVLS can either be used manually, electrically, hydraulically, pneumatically, or even gas powered, which makes the pump unique to any pump that's on the market today in that it has the vast array of powering devices to move it. The quantity of fluids that can be passed through the Zelda manually can go anywhere from zero all the way up to 120 gallons a minute. If you were to use a power device, this goes from the ranges of 10 gallons a minute all the way up to 400 gallons a minute, making it by far one of the most impressive pumps that's on the market today. The mechanical efficiency of this pump is rated at 98%, and the efficiency of this pump is rated at 96%, once again, far exceeding any pumps that are on the market today. Because of its unique design, the Zelda HVLS pump is able to prime itself continuously and pull from a depth of at least 26 feet at a height of 1,000 feet above sea level. And in doing so, it can take that height all the way down to a quarter inch if needed. As I've stated before, it never breaks prime. And thus, if an air pocket occurs, it continuously goes through that. Because the Zelda can pump not only water, hydraulic fluids, petroleum products, grease, oils, but it can even pump air. And in doing so, it makes it one of the most versatile pumps on the market today. The extensive testing that has gone into the development of the Zelda HVLS far exceeds anything that has been done on pumps in the past. Four years of diligent testings has produced the Zelda HVLS pump to the point where now we are bringing it to market. As I stated, the Zelda is an instant priming pump. It continuously primes itself. And in doing so, you'll see the moment I start to turn the handle manually, a prime will exist right behind me on the tube. As you can see, water's already starting to climb up the tube. And we're turning at approximately two revolutions per minute. Obviously, the faster I turn, the more water will flow. But, as you'll see on the tube here, the seals in the pump itself are what make it so unique. That's what gives the Zelda its strength and its primability and its pull and push ability. The adaptability of the pump doesn't just stop with the motorized devices that power it. It also extends to the inlet and outlets that go with this. This gives it now, once again, the far range to use for the different industries of agricultural, fire, industrial, municipal, or even marine, making the Zelda the universal pump for which other pumps will soon be judged. As I've alluded to, the primability of this pump is fantastic. 
And I want to show you now exactly what I mean by that. What I plan to do is take water from the 55 gallon drum on my left and move it to the drum on my right. I'm going to do this manually and I'm going to do it in front of you. You will see the water move down on the right and increase on the left. Primability has already started and water is flowing. As you can see, we just moved approximately 30 gallons of water in less than 10 seconds. As we just showed moments ago, we moved water from one 55 gallon drum on my left to one 55 gallon drum on my right. Unlike any other pump on the market, we're not going to move water in reverse and pump it from my right to my left. Once again, demonstrating that had there been something blocking the inlet tube, you could have immediately reversed flow and blown it out, saving you time and effort having to dismantle a pump to remove the obstacles that may be involved.